Yura. I'm Will. And I'm Tom. And, and this, this is Kia Kids News. Robot technology has taken a huge step. Or should we say, leap? Robots are in the news. Today, we're investigating the Atlas robot that's got the tech world talking. Boston Dynamics design and build robots. They've released new videos of their famous Atlas robot performing the most complex parkour routines seen to date. Also, the Atlas robot can dance. In New Zealand, we have our very own robot expert. Let's go talk to Dr. Robotech. Dr. Robotech, also known as Chris, is speaking to us today from his base in Auckland. Hey, Chris, are you a robot? No, but some of my best friends are. Tell us about your best friends. I used to have a company that made robotics for films, so we made robot animals. Um, we made a film called uh, Babe, which was about a pig that thought it was a dog, and we made 11 sheep for that. Move along there, you, you uh, big buttheads! <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think of the parkour video released by Boston Dynamics? I really, really liked that video because it was so much like a real person doing parkour, and you could see the person who had, had been designing it all how they'd been thinking about, oh, I've got, it's got to jump here, it's got to lean here, it's got to lean into that. What was your favourite part of the parkour video? Well, I really liked when the robots um, did synchronised backflips. Yeah, that was very cool. Robots really are acting more human. Make sure your brother really isn't a robot in disguise. Ha, 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 ha. What's the hardest part about getting a robot to dance? It's a bit like you, you can dance to a tune you're familiar with and the robot will do the same thing. It's doing the predictive stuff and it's locking on to the rhythm and the music itself. How important are failures in the robot world? Well, we don't actually have failures in the robot world. We have successful non-achievement of total goal. It looks like it hurts when those robots fall. You can see the scars on them and, and quite a lot of the training things you saw them doing where they're jumping off and they trip over and they roll over and, and you go, oh, it's just like watching the training for the Olympics. And that's robot Olympics as far as I'm concerned. So. How much do you think each robot costs? An awful lot of money. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. This has been Will and Tom reporting for Kia Kids News.